All right, so if you don't know by now, the Substitution Game is one of my all-time favorite games that I learned to play once coming to Catenio. And it is no different um, when we come to playing with multiplication. So I just want to show you a possibility of a potential game you could play, or actually just kind of how it might look if you were playing in your house. So we have three times three times three, that's 27. And I'm gonna multiply that, I'm gonna double that 27, and now we have 54. I'm gonna double it again, and now we have 108, and let's double it again. But now we have, this right here is a total of 216. So we just wanna play the substitution game, and I'm going to limit this game that I'm playing all by myself to just multiplication. So, Something I see immediately is that I have three cubed times two cubed. And then I can easily see from here that I have 27 times eight. I also could do 27 times uh, two cubed, and I could do three cubed times eight. I could also do, I could also do three times two. Right? Three times two, three times two, three times two. And you can multiply those together and then I would have three times two cubed. And that would be six cubed, which would be six times six times six. And I could see also that I could have six times, six times six here is 36. What else could I do? I could have six times six squared. I could do, uh, let's see, what else can we do? We could do nine, which is these two together, times six, which is these two together, times four, which is those two together, which means that I could do three squared, times six times two squared. You can see that we could do this for quite a long time, and this allows students to break numbers apart, put them back together, and find ways that are easy for them to solve math problems and to calculate. And besides that, it's just fun to play the game. It's like a puzzle and see how many you can create. 